Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down death, and to those in the tomb he has granted life. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down death, in, and to those in the tomb he has granted life. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down death, and to those in the tomb he has granted life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and an unshamable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions, make firm the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you have called to rule, grant them victory from heaven, for you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all devout and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Sava. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden. They are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning in my heart. O Lord, all my desire is, from, is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails within me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly. And they mediate on the dis deceit all the day long. 
But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I'm like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O, God, o Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgressions, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and are becoming stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me, because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my love as though it were a sinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh, my flesh thirsts for you, like a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So, in the holy place I appear to you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will, bl thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditate on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings, I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close to behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek, my, they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditate on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul, my soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the age of ages, amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry I day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man free among the dead. Like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit and dark places in the shadow of death. Your wrath re rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances from far from me. They made me abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty, O Lord, and I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will the physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in the forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, in the morning, my prayer comes, shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in trouble from my youth. But having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me my neighbor and friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgression, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things in your youth, you, yeah, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As, f as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembered we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as the flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. 
For the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children. To such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord repairs his throne in heaven, his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength to do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, to do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord God, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication, in your truth answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he humbled his, my life to the ground, he caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me, my heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all your works, I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of a brightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your judgment. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your judgment. Do not in righteousness. Do not enter judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of a brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, our God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, Theotokos, with all the saints, we us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now endeavor into the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Let the heavens sing for joy, and let everything on earth be glad. 
For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by means of death. And he became the firstborn from the dead. From the maw of Hades he delivered us, and he granted the world his great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let the heavens rejoice, and the earth be glad. For the Lord has shown the power of his reign. He has conquered death by death, and become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of Hades, he has granted to the world great mercy. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Unto you who mediated the salvation of our race, we sing praises, O Virgin Theotokos, for your Son and our God in the flesh that he assumed from you, accepted suffering by means of crucifixion, and has thereby set us free from corruption in his love for man. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the other Virgin Mary, Theotokos, with all the saints, Theotokos, let us commend us. ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Christ is risen from the dead, the first of those who have fallen asleep. The artificer of all things that were made, wa that were made was first born before all creation. Now he has renewed the corrupted nature of our human, human race in himself. O oh, death, you no longer have dominion, for the master of all has destroyed your power. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When you had physically tasted death, O oh Lord, you curtailed its bitterness by your resurrection and you strengthened humanity against it by reversing the failure related to the primal curse. O Defender of our life, glory to you, O Lord. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Seeing how beautiful was your virginity, and how your purity shone forth resplendently. Amazed was Gabriel, who cried to you, Thus, O Theotokos, what shall I present to you as a worthy encomium? What shall I address you as? At a loss and perplexed am I. And therefore I as ordered cry out to you, Rejoice, O maiden, full of grace. Appropriating all our human attributes, deigning to make your own all that belong to us. O my Creator, it was your good pleasure to Thus, O Master, you preferred to submit as a man to death, so that you might liberate humankind out of death as God. And therefore we cry out to you, Life-Giver, Glory to your compassion, O Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, we the believers now theologize about 
inexplicable, incomprehensible, unspoken mystery of your crucifixion and resurrection. For today the realm of death and of Hades has been despoiled, and vested is the human race with incorruptibility. And therefore, in thanksgiving, we cry aloud, Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. All beings heavenly, with longing leaped for joy, while everything on earth with trembling stood in awe. When the immaculate voice came to you, O Theotokos, and the single festival brightly shone above and below for your son delivered from death, the man that he had fashioned first, and therefore with the angel we cry out, Rejoice, O pure and virgin mother. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the host of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning the myrrh-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them in utter, the time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Evlogitosi kyrie didakson meta dikeomata sou, mirofori gynekes meta miron elthuse pros to mnima sou soteren ichundo. Angel utranos pros aftas ethromenu, ti meta nekron ton zon dalogizeste, os theos gar exanesti tum nimatos. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we bow down in worship. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy are you, O Lord. Kenin ke ai ke istus eonas ton eonon amin, zodoti te kusa elitros o parthene ton adam amartias, Harmonin de ti evan ti lipis parezkes, Repsanda zoiis i thine prostaftin de, O exus arkothiste os ke anthropos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. 
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, Theotokos, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Astounding in appearance, refreshing by the words he spoke, the flashing angel said to the myrrh-bearing women, Why do you look in a tomb for the living one? He is risen and has emptied the tombs. Know him, the unchanging changer of corruption. Say to God, how awesome are your works, for you have saved the human race. For you have saved the human race. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father, and the Son, re oh. You rescued the captivity of Zion out of Babylon, O Logos. Do also draw me up from the passions to life. Those who sow shedding godly tears when the south wind is blowing, Joyously will harvest years of life everlasting. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father and the Son, radiates intrinsically every gift of goodness. And in him all things both live and move. Unless the Lord build the house of the virtues, in vain do we labor. But if he protect the soul, no one can conquer our city. O Christ, the fruit of the womb by the Spirit, are the saints forever as adopted sons to you as to a father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit are perceived all holiness and wisdom, for He gives substance to all creation. Since He is God, let us worship Him, as we do the Father and Logos. Those who fear the Lord are blessed, they will walk in the ways of the commandments, for they will eat every kind of vivifying produce. Gazing on your offspring round about your table, bearing branches of good works, be glad, O arch pastor. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, was now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. With the Holy Spirit is all the wealth of glory. From Him issue grace and life to all creation, for He is extolled with the Father and the Logos. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. Uh, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever Virgin most Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our God, and to you ascribe glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. I have sinned in every way. I have improperly acted. Therefore, with paralysis, my soul is war woefully stricken. Raise it up, O Lord, through your own divine attention. Even as old, you raised up the paralytic. So they, 
so that saved I may cry glory to your dominion, O my compassionate Christ. O my compassionate Christ. You hold the wide world in the palm of your hand, O Jesus God, with the Father without origin and with the Holy Spirit, master over all things. You appeared in the flesh, curing diseases, and you drove away passions and gave sight to the blind. And by your divine word, you raised up the paralytic, commanding him suddenly to walk and take up the pallet in which he lay. Therefore, therefore, along with him, we all extol you and cry out, glory to your dominion, O my compassionate Christ. O my compassionate Christ. On the 10th of this month, we commemorate the holy apostles, Simon the Zealot. As if word Simon with his zeal said to Christ, in my zeal of thy suffering, I suffered the cross. On the 10th, Magnus Simon was strengthened, stretched on a tree. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Alphaeus, Philadelphus, and Cyprinos of Sicily. Philadelphus was the, went to the sword, loving his brethren, and with his brethren, he found a divine garland. On this day, we commemorate the righteous father, Hezekiah, the confessor of Galatia. Hezekiah, having passed his life in silence, passed over unto God with, in awe and silence. On this day, the righteous father, Lawrence, reposed in peace. As though they were a covenant between God and Lawrence by labors who received Eden, which is beyond labors. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Kamgal Abbot of Bagar, Bangar in Ireland. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Simon, the wonder worker in the Kiev Caves, Bishop of Sudal and Vladimir. On this day, we commemorate the blessed Simon of Urovets, the fool for Christ's sake. On this day, we commemorate the Holy Virgin Martyr, Basil of Mangazira. On this day, we commemorate a multitude of holy, new righteous martyrs of the Saint Simeon, the Zealot, the Zealot Monastery, also known as New Athos in Georgia. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Pascha, we remember the paralytic and appropriately celebrate the miracle worked on him. The word in Christ was a brace for the paralytic, thus his cure by mere utterance was accomplished. In your infin infinite mercy, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Resurrection day, O people, let us brilliantly shine. Pascha, the Lord's Pascha. For Christ our God has out of death passed us over into life and likewise from earth to heaven as we now sing unto him a triumphal hymn. Come and let us drink a new drink, not one marvelously issuing from a barren rock, but the one that Christ from the tomb pours out in corruption's very source, for we are established in Him. Now let Habakkuk as a God-inspired prophet stand with us, keeping His divine watch and show us the angelic messenger who shining utters glowingly today for the world is salvation because arisen is Christ being omnipotent. Arising at dawn very early, instead of ointment to him, let us offer unto the Master, and then we shall see clearly Christ the Son of Righteousness, causing true life to arise for all. You went down to the nether regions of earth, and you broke apart the bars that forever were closed on those who were held there, O Christ, from the sepulchre, as did Jonah from the whale, you arose on the third day. The same one who delivered the youth from the fire, becoming a mortal man, suffers in the flesh, and by his passion he arrays mortal nature with majesty free of all corruption. The only God of the fathers, blessed and supremely glorious. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. 
This is at the day which is chosen and holy, day one of the Sabbaths. It is the Queen's day, the Lord's day, at the feast of all feasts, and the festival above every festival, on which we extol Christ and bless him to the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Pass up no sato ton kirion. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all and with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were walking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him, and he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and beside all this, it is now the third day since this happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. And they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. And he said to them, O oh, foolish men and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He appeared to be going further, but they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven gathered together and those who were with them who said, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Christ, Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. 
Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome in your judgment. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sin my mother bore me. Behold, you left truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgression. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding Spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, at the intercession of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses, both, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen, at the intercession of the Theotokos. O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave, as he foretold, has granted us eternal life in great mercy. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Σώσον ο Θεός των λαών σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου. Επίσκεψε τον κόσμο σου, εν ελέη και εκτιρμής. Ήψωσον και εράς χριστιανών ορθοδόξων και κατάπευσον εθιμάς τα ελέη σου τα πλούσια. Πρέσδιες της Παναχράν του δεσποινισμών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας. Δυνάμει του τιμίου και ζώπιου σταυρού προστασίας των τιμίου επουρανίων δυνάμεων ασωμάτων. Οι κεσίε των τιμιών ενδόξων προδρόμου, προφήτρου και βάπτιστου Ιωάννου, των αγίων ενδόξων και πανεμφύμων αποστόλων, το εναγγεί πατέρων ημών, μεγάλων γεραρχών και οικουμενικών διδασκάλων, βασιλείου του μεγάλου Γρηγορίου του Θεολόγου και Ιωάννου του Χρυσοστόμου, Αθανασίου Κυρίλου και Ιωάννου του Ελεήμονο Πατριαρχών Αλεξανδρία, Νικολάου του Ενμύρη, Σπυρίδωνο, Τριμηθούντο και Νεκταρίου Πενταπόλεω των Θαρματουργών, των Αγίων Ενδόξου Μεγαλομαρτύρων, Γεωργίου του Τροπεοφόρου, Δημητρίου του Μυροβλήτου, Θεοδόρου του Τύρανο, Θεοδόρου του Στρατηλάτου, Μινά του Θαματουργού, των Ιερομαρτύρων Χαραλάμπο και Ελευθερίου, τη Αγία Ενδόξου Μεγαλομαρτύρο και Πανεμφύμων Ευθυμία, των Αγίων Ενδόξων Μαρτύρων Θέκλα Βαρβάρα Αναστασία Εκατερίνη Κυριακή, Φωτεινή Μαρίνη Παρασκευή και Ειρήνη, των Οσίων και Θεόφορων Πατέρων Ημών, 
Γεωργίου, το Αγίου και δικαίων Θεό πατώρων Ιωάκημ και Άνης και πάντων σου των Αγίων, ηκετεύω μεν σε μόνε πολύ αλέη κυρία υπάκουσον ημών των αμαρτωλών, δεωμένων σου και ελέησον ημάς. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Κύριε ελέησον, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Ελέη και η εκτιμή και φιλανθρωπία του μονογενού σου ιού με τη ευλόγη τόση είναι το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζώο ποιο σου πνεύμα την νύχια ή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Let us honor in magnifying song the Theotokos and the Mother of Light. O oh, my soul, magnify him who willingly suffered, was buried and rose from the grave on the third day. Be illumined, illumined, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has arisen over you. Dance now for joy, Zion, and exalt. And you be merry, O pure Theotokos, at the arising of the one you bore. Galinam sikimu titon ex anastanda, primeron ectafu Christondo zodotin, fotizu, fotizu, in nea Jerusalem, i galdoxa kiriu episean etile, Ora venin ke agalusion, si de agni ter puteo toke, en die jersi tu tokusu. Christ is the new Pascha, the sacrificial victim, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Divine and beloved and sweetest utterance of yours, for you really and truly Pledge that you will be with us unto the end of the ages, O Christ. And we, the faithful, clinging to your promise, our anchor of hope, rejoice. Yea, creation is exalted and rejoices, for Christ has arisen and Hades was despoiled. O Pascha, the great and most sacred Passover, O Christ, you the wisdom and logos and the power of God, grant that we may more distinctly partake of you on that day that has no evening in your kingly rule. O oh, my soul, glory, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my soul, magnify the power of the Godhead, that is three hypostasis and also undivided. With one voice, O Virgin, we the believers call you blessed. O oh, rejoice, you the Lord's gate, city animate, rejoice. Lady, rejoice, for today the light of the resurrection from the dead of the Son, whom you have borne, has shone on us. Rejoice, O now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O blessed Virgin. Rejoice, O glorified one. Rejoice, your Son has risen from the grave on the third day. Be exalted and glad, divine gate of the light. For your Son, namely Jesus, having sat within the tomb, rose and is shining more brightly than the sun, and he has fully illumined all the faithful. O Lady, full of the grace of God. The angel cried aloud to the Lady, full of grace. Rejoice, O pure virgin, and again I say rejoice. Your Son has truly risen from the grave on the third day. Be illumined, illumined, O new Jerusalem. For the glory of the Lord has arisen over you. Dance now for joy, Zion, and exalt. And you be merry, O pure Theotokos, at the arising of the one you bore. 
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin most Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy, holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his foot, at the footstool of his feet. For he when you had slumbered in the flesh as one immortal, O King and Lord, you rose again on the third day and raised up Adam from decay and rendered death of no effect. Mask of incorruption, salvation of the world. The Lord who loves humanity and is compassionate towards all appeared today at Bethsaida. The sheep pulled to cure diseases, and there he found a man who had been lying there for many years. And he cried out to him and said, Arise and take up your pallet. Go forth and walk on straight ways. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His hosts. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. O come, all you nations, know the power of the always glory mystery. For Christ our Savior, the Lord was who was in the beginning. Voluntarily for us was crucified and buried. And he rose from the dead to save the universe. Let us worship Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, praise Him with the harp and lyre. Those who guarded you reported all the marvelous events, O Lord. However, the Sanhedrin of futility filled their hands with gifts, thinking that in this way they could hide your resurrection, which the world glorifies. Have mercy on us. Praise Him with timbrel and dance, praise Him with strings and flutes. The universe was filled with joy in the experience of your resurrection. Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found an angel sitting upon the stone. With his garments flashing like lightning, he said to her, Why do you seek? The living among the dead. He is not here, but has risen as he said, and is going before you to Galilee. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. In your life we will see light, O Master, who loves humanity. For you have risen from the dead. Let 
God arise and let his enemies be scattered and let those who hate him flee from before his face. Today our sacred Pascha has been revealed to us. A Pascha new and holy, Pascha mystical, a Pascha all venerable, Pascha the Redeemer and Christ himself. A Pascha that is blameless, Pascha that is great, a Pascha of believers, a Pascha that has opened for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha that sanctifies believers all. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Come now from that side, O you women and heralds of good news, and say to Zion, receive from us the joyful tidings of the resurrection of Christ. O Jerusalem, be exalted, dance and leap for joy, for you have witnessed Christ the King coming forth as a bridegroom from the sepulcher. So shall the sinners perish from the face of God, and then the righteous be glad. The myrrh-bearing women at dawn very early, standing outside the tomb of the giver of life, found an angel who was seated upon the stone, and the angel addressed them, and this is what he said, Why do you seek among the dead the one who is alive? Why do you grieve as though corruptible the incorrupt? So go back and proclaim it to the disciples. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Pascha of delight, Pascha of the Lord's Pascha, a Pascha how venerable has risen for us. Pascha with the joy, let us embrace one another. Pascha the ransom from sorrow. Today from the sepulcher, Christ emerged resplendently as from a bridal <clears throat> chamber. And the women he filled with joy, saying, Proclaim to the Apostles. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, it was not the fool that you're the paralytic, but rather it was your word that renewed him. Not even his chronic ailment could impede it, for the energy of your voice proved to be more potent. He threw off the oppressive burden and carried the weight of his bread as a testimony of your abundant mercies. Glory to you. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. It is the day of the resurrection. Let us shine brightly. forgive all things in the resurrection. And so, and so Yeah. 
has granted life. Glory be to you who show the light, glory in the highest to God, his peace is on earth, his good pleasure in mankind. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father, Ruler over all, Lord, Only Begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you, O Holy Spirit. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sin of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you, and your name will I praise to eternity and to the ages of ages. Vouchsafe, O oh Lord, this day that we be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord God, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have led to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Aios o Theos, Aios is Hiros, Aios a Thanotos eleison imas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Of Saint Isadora of Egypt, Lawrence of Egypt, and Simon the Zealot, an apostle whose memories we celebrate this day, our Father, and the Saints, John Christus, and Archbishop of Constantinople. Glory to the Father and the Son and the the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty. Today has salvation come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who resurrected from the <clears throat> tomb and is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, 
he gave us the victory and the great mercy. Good morning and Christos Anesti. And also, especially today, Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers, aunts, godmothers, grandmothers, and spiritual mothers, every kind of mother there is. Uh, expressing the love and the nurture and the care that we so appreciate and need in our lives. And we welcome all of you today from wherever you are joining us, whether it be here in the Pittsburgh area, in your homes, around the country, or wherever it may be. You may notice that there is an unusual display this morning uh, that is not normally in the church, and that is because we are giving you an opportunity this morning to honor your mothers, to express love for those in this life, and to pray for those already departed uh, through our uh, give a flower or honor your mother with a flower um, option that is on our website. The ones that you see have already been donated. More are still coming in. This is a project of our Holy Trinity Goya, and what normally happens is they usually offer those flowers to the mothers as they walk in the church that day, but we can't do that because the mothers aren't in church this today. Well, one of them is. Uh, but and we have one Goya representing all of them. Anna Bordianu is here, and she's helping place the flowers uh, here. So if you would like to do that, please feel free to go and join on our website. But other than that, we just welcome all of you. We pray for all of the mothers today. May you have a blessed and joyous liturgy as we continue to celebrate the holy, great, and life-saving resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please rise. <clears throat> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All together. Christos Anesti ek nekron thanatos thanaton patisas Christos a înviat din morți cu moartea pe moarte călcând și celor din morminte viață dăruindu-le. Christ is risen from the dead by death trampling down upon death and to those in the tombs he has granted life. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the 
the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. I'm reading our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable and love for mankind ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness. And grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God all the earth. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Salata dito onomati aftu, dote doxan en esi aftu. Tes presvies tis Theotokos, o tes osonimas. Say to God how fearful are your works. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Passa ye proskinisato sansi, capsalato sansi. Tes bes dies dis Theotokos, o tes osonimas. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the other Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. May God be gracious to us and bless us. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Epiphanet the prosopon of two ephimas keleiseima. So soni masiete u, o anastas ek nekron. Salantasi, Alleluia. Exomologisas the sun silai o theos. Exomologis asto san silai pandes. So soni masiete u, o anastas ek nekron, salantasi, Alleluia. Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us, who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Homo no edisius que logos ludeu, atanatos y parcon. Que cata de examen os diati ni metaran sotirian. Sarcothine, et isaias de otoku. Que ahi partenum marias, atreptos en antropisas. Sabrotis te Christe o teos, tanato tanato patisas. 
Isso onde saías triados, se nós os homens do patri, que tu aí obnemati, só são imãs. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Theotokos, Mary, with all the saints, save us. let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Master and Lord, our God, have established the orders and hosts of angels and archangels in heaven to minister you to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us that together we may celebrate and glorify your goodness. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christos Anesti ek nekron thanatot thanaton Tisas ketisentis nimasi zoin charisa Sing for joy and let everything on earth be glad. For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by means of death. And he became the firstborn from the dead. From the maw of Hades he delivered us. And he granted the world his great mercy. Liberator of captives, defender of the poor, physician of the sick, and champion of kings, O trophy bearer, great martyr George, Intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Though you went down into the tomb, O immortal one, yet you brought down the dominion of Hades, and you rose as the victor, O Christ God, and you call to the murmuring women, rejoice, and give peace to your apostles, O Lord, who do. To the fallen grand resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. I also theos, I os is kiros, I os athanatos, elegison imas. Let us be attentive. Sing praises to our God, sing praises. Clap your hands, all you nations. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints that lived in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now there was at Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, which means Dorcas. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days she fell sick and died. And when they had washed her, they laid her in the upper room. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, entreating him, Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went with them. And when he came, they took him to the upper room. All the widows stood beside him weeping and showing tunics and other garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, rise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and lifted her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive. And it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Peace be to you, the reader. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. 
Peace be with all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, in Hebrew called Bethesda, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever stepped in first after the troubling of the water was healed of whatever disease he had. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who Jesus was, for Jesus had withdrawn and there was a crowd in that place. Afterward Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more that nothing worse befall you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. Good morning, Christos Adesti. Please Ali be seated. Christos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The perfect person does not only try to avoid evil, nor do they do good for fear of punishment, still less in order to qualify for the promise of a reward. The perfect person does good through love. That beautiful quote is from a second century Christian theologian and philosopher, Clement of Alexandria. <clears throat> Let's see what that really looks like lived in this story from World War II. Solomon Rosenberg, his wife, and their two sons were arrested together with Rosenberg's mother and father for the crime of being Jews. They were placed in a Nazi concentration camp it was a labor camp, and the rules were simple. As long as you can do your work, you are permitted to live. When you become too weak to do your work, then you will be exterminated. Rosenberg watched as his mother and father were marched off to their deaths. He knew that the next would be his youngest son, David, because David has always been a frail child. Every evening, Rosenberg came back into the barracks after each day of hard labor and searched for the faces of his family. When he found them, they would all huddle together, embrace one another, and thank God for another day of life. One day Rosenberg came back and he didn't see those familiar faces. He finally discovered his oldest son Joshua in the corner, huddled, weeping, and praying. He said, Josh, tell me it's not true. Josh turns and said, It's true, Dad. Today David wasn't strong enough to do his work, so they came for him. But where's your mother? asked Mr. Rosenberg. Oh, Dad. When they came for David, he was afraid and he started to cry. So Mom said, There's nothing to be afraid of, David. And she took his hand and went with him. And so, according to Clement, she was perfected in her love. How many examples in your life 
in the arms, sacrifices, and embraces of your own mother, have you known and seen love perfected? And like the mother in that story, how often is that love perfected through sacrifice? Today on Mother's Day, this true story helps us understand not only the real nature of motherhood, but the complete and sacrificial love of God for us as his children. It is our mothers who literally and physically deliver us from their wombs into this world. And it is so often the same mothers whose love and compassion deliver us from the struggles of that same world as we grow up. And like the mother in the opening story, it's so often the agape love that knows no bounds. And it is God himself who is that agape. As you know from 1 John 4, 8, O Theos agape estin, God is love. And in that perfect love, as St. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 1.10, He will deliver us. On Him we have set our hope. When Jesus taught, He used examples that everyone could understand from their daily lives. I believe all of us can relate one way or another to these examples. How often in our childhood have we cried out in times of need, Mommy, help! As we grow into adulthood, we likewise cry out as we are feeling down, attacked, suffering, hurt, or weak. Now as children, we cry out about those things because we feel out of control. And our mother runs and fixes it and sends us off with a kiss. But as we grow and mature as an adult, what are our cries asking for? What they really say is that no matter how grown up we become, we're all still vulnerable in many ways. In 2 Corinthians 1.10, St. Paul, the greatest missionary of the New Testament, shares with us a glimpse into his own vulnerability when describing the sufferings even he experienced in the great and holy work that he was doing in the name of God. He says, We were so utterly, unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. You heard that correctly. St. Paul nearing despair. But rather than see only the darkness in that struggle, he finds the light of Christ. How? He realize, realizes that his struggle was for a purpose. The purpose, he explains later in the passage, to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He delivered us from so deadly a peril, and He will deliver us. What a refreshing and liberating thought that is right now, no? What are you thinking? I know what I thought when I first ran across it. He will deliver us. I must confess that it's a kind of a challenge in preparing for sermons these days. Sometimes you feel you have to talk about the virus and the lockdown and the fears and the frustrations and everything that goes with them. And other times you feel like you should kind of avoid those issues. Well, uh, like they say, like the plague. Um, it's kind of a natural hesitation that we want to avoid rubbing salt into the wound as we try to comfort you through these struggles. But uh, if we do that, that also actually deprives us of very important lessons. And the natural parallels of these scriptures and today's situation just cannot be avoided. After all these weeks, are you feeling a bit like you're crushed? Have you had moments of darkness wondering what happened to the life you knew not so long ago? Have things seemed so bad in your weakest moments that our current situation seems insurmountable and bleak? First, know that you're not alone. Second, although Lent is far behind us, the words of one of the most used hymns during that holy season 
should still be echoing in our hearts even in the midst of those challenges and those words are simply, God is with us. Isaiah 8.10. And third and perhaps most importantly, back to St. Paul, we have the promise, he will deliver us. It is only that solid pillar of hope that St. Paul lashed the rope of his life. It's that same pillar on which I will lash this message today. He will deliver us. Linking it to the Sunday of the paralytic, during which we see Jesus miraculously heal a man who could not walk, we can see that he delivers him with a simple word, rise. And you heard today that in the epistle reading and in the gospel reading, rise was mentioned three times twice in the epistle, and once in the gospel. And it's a word that if we listen, we will hear in our own life many times, including today. But lest we fall prey to the reductionist thought that the only thing we should be concerned about rising out of is our current lockdown, we really need to take the long view and ask the bigger question. That is, if God is calling me to rise, what is he calling me to rise out of? I'll offer three possibilities today. Paralysis, sin, and despair, all tied to the scripture readings today. The love, the hope, and the power of God are ever present in our life to help us rise out of each of them. Paralysis, remember, is a condition. And God is able to deliver us from the many conditions of our life, physical and emotional. Sin, the second one, is a choice. And God also is able to deliver us through inspiring us, guiding us, illuminating us, illuminating us granting us the heart of repentance to choose life instead. And finally, despair is a feeling. Feelings are something that are really challenging in these days, but God is also able to deliver us from him by hope in him. Those are often situations, conditions, choices, and feelings that don't come and go in a few weeks like our current situation has and God willing will. Sometimes they persist for a lifetime. So the Lord doesn't limit his deliverance for just the moment at hand, but whenever and wherever it is needed. But it takes effort on our part too. And in each case, the answer he empowers us to do is to, to take is one thing, rise. So, okay, we all want to be delivered from the current lockdown. But what else we need to ask again? very personally. What else do I need to be delivered from? What do I need to experience the presence and the power of God? Do I need to change a condition, something involving the use of or the situation of my body and my physical environment? Do I need to change a choice, something that I have decided to do with my own mind? Or do I need to work on changing my feelings, which God has given me control over, and have those reshape the condition of my heart? It's really a question that the rich young ruler asked Jesus. What do I still lack? And Jesus answered, if you would be perfect, and then he filled in the blank. And so our question is, what is it that I need? Let's return to our opening quote from Saint Clement, from Clement of Alexandria. And let's finish the rest of his description of the perfect person in which maybe we will find an answer for ourselves. He continues, his actions are not motivated by desire for personal benefit. But as soon as he has realized the beauty of doing good, he does it with all his energies and in all that he does. He is not interested in fame or a good reputation 
or human or divine reward. The rule of life for a perfect person is to be the image and likeness of God. That image and likeness is most powerfully experienced and understood through love, especially the love that delivers us. And what a beautiful day to talk about that on Mother's Day. We saw that in the opening story of the mother taking her son by the hand in the concentration camp and delivering him from fear. We have each experienced that in the nurturing, protecting, and sacrificial love of our own mother at one time or another as she took us by our own hand and delivered us from hurt. And we are all inheritors of the promise of the risen Christ that he will deliver us not only from the struggles and challenges of this virus and this life, but from death itself. Because Christ has risen from the dead by death trampling down upon death, and to those in the tombs he has granted life. Amen. God bless you all. Happy Mother's Day.
With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. With the fear of God, faith and love, draw near, O God, bless your people and bless your inheritance. Save your Christ is risen from the, the dead. dead, by death, death trampling down upon death. And to those in the tombs he has granted life. the Son our God. Always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving an awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, give a blessing. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of light. <clears throat> to you we give glory, thanksgiving and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 So on the Mokiri O Yi Evlogi Menon Kapatunin Keosue Ono Today we have a trisayon that we are offering. It is, first of all, a 10-year trisayon for Louis 
and Nell or Nicoletta Manasiotis who have been laid to rest in this holy place outside the chapel here at Holy Trinity Cemetery. But we are also today commemorating, as many of you have done and made offerings by requesting flowers, uh, all of the departed mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, aunts, and, and uh, every other type of uh, wonderful, loving, maternal relationship that we have. So we will offer Trisayun first by offering uh, the names of uh, Louis or Elias and Nicoletta, and then we'll ask also as a whole commemorate all of the departed mothers because at the end, after this is done, we will be actually, as promised, reading the names of all of the mothers, both living and departed, that you have offered and seen present in these flowers today. I am also going to open the doors. You will notice during the liturgy that the cemetery, which is right outside the door, is uh, also sensed and in fact, during this resurrection season, as we say, having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus. We are inviting those who are already and experiencing the joys of eternal life to join in that, res in that resurrection celebration. So we will also sense and bless the graves, many of whom are the names that you will hear offered in a few moments. Among the... Spirits of the righteous, perfected in faith, grant rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Preserve in that, that life of blessedness that is from you, O lover of mankind. Within your peace, O Lord, where With all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and loosened the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Most pure and spotless Virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with Him for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of God, Elias and Nicoletas, who have fallen asleep, and for all of our departed mothers, those laid to rest in this holy place, and all those whom we call to mind for the forgiveness of their sins, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. From Christ our immortal King and God, you, oh Lord. let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O oh God of spirits and of all flesh, who have trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world, give rest to the souls of your servants Elias and Nicoletta, and the souls of all of our mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, and, who have, and women who have fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of repose, a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For you, there is no one who lives and is sinless. You are alone or without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep. Christ our God, unto you we offer up glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all holy good and life, creating spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants here commemorated. Uh, Elias and Nicoletta, and all the mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, those who are departed before us, and to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Everlasting be your memory, our sisters, brothers, and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, dear sisters and brothers, you who are worthy of eternal blessedness and eternal memory. Together, wherever you are, <clears throat> whether in memory of Lou and uh, Nicoletta, or whether in memory of your own mother, grandmother, godmother, please join. 
and love always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Christ our God, and hope glory to you. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God, through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and father John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, St. George, the great martyr and trophy bearer, martyr and trophy bearer, of St. Isadora of Egypt, Lawrence of Egypt, and Simon the Zealot, an apostle whose memory we celebrate this day, our Father, Mother, Saints, John Christus, and Archbishop of Constantinople, and of all the saints, Christos Anesti, Alithos Anesti, Christos Anviat, Adarabarat Anviat, Christ is risen, truly he is risen, le Christ est ressuscité, en vérité il est ressuscité, Christos vos cresti, voi est non vos cresti, Al Masia come, come, come. Glory to his third day resurrection. We venerate his third day resurrection. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down upon death, and to those in the tombs he has granted life. Truly the Lord is risen. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down upon. you all and grant you hope. Amen. 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 There you go. Please don't go anywhere because as promised we are <laughs> honoring the mothers today. We are honoring those in this life and we are honoring those who have already gone on to jo join the Lord in His heavenly kingdom. And so, as we made our special uh, offer of flower opportunity available, we said that we would be offering prayers for them, which we are, and we also said that we would be putting a flower, which we are, and we said that we would be reading the names. And so, Father Radu, I'm going to ask you to come out and give me a hand. So we are going to first deal with the Tell you what, let's first do the departed because we just did the Trisayon, so in close proximity to that, we will go ahead and read. So, we will, uh, honoring those who have, have placed the flowers as well as those in whose names they've been placed, uh, we'll just go back and forth. So, we'll read it here, offering by four, right? Okay. So, we'll just go back and forth, back and forth. That's all right? Yes. Okay. Let's we'll we'll figure this out. This is the first time we've done this. So. <laughs> all right. Harry Athanasiu is offering in memory of Stella Athanasiu. Mina Durusco is offering in memory of Eli Stefano and Elizabeth Durusco. Uh, Joyce Athanasiu in honor of Stella Athanasiu. 
Effie Giannis, mm -hmm. in honor, all, all in the honor. four of them, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. in honor of Mary Alice Gregorich, Faye Thomas, um, Eftalia Giannis, Eftalia uh, Tsumas. Uh, also, Tammy Bacharis, in, uh, in memory of uh, Marie Bacharis. And let me also just make a slight correction here. When the, the website gave you an opportunity to place the name of the mother, it didn't get a chance, did not give you the opportunity to put the name of the, like a family or donating. So where I believe are going to make the assumption that if it's a wife that's doing it or a husband that's doing it or whatever, it's, it's for both of them. So please forgive. I mean, Tammy, I'm sure this is coming from Tammy and Alvin, but it was only Tammy's name uh, that was able to be listed there. So that's the overlying, over, over, overriding understanding for all of these, please. Okay. Next. In Paula the, Valiant in and memory. Anthony Belouris in memory of Helen Belouris. And Chris Belouris in memory of Helen Stambolis Belouris. Karen Georgiadis in memory of Mary Georgiadis. Polixeni Belouris in memory of Marie Mortakos. Paula Valiant in memory of Helen Valiant. Anastasia Barron in memory of Anastasia Anargiros. Philip Carpenter in memory of Catherine Samia and Patricia Gardella. Anastasia Barron in memory of Danielle Zaganaki. Julia Pachutis in memory of Irma Opakcic. Anastasia Barron in memory of Virginia Parikakis. Kathleen White in memory of Margie Smyrns and Barbara White. George Bellios in memory of Marianthi Delaforas. Sherry Clayton in memory of all mothers. George Bellios in memory of Evangelia Bellios. Christina Mackerel in memory of Mary Paganis. Adam and Christina Bishop in memory of Marian Pantelis. Joe DeServanak in memory of Katie Georgiadis and Evelyn Collins. Adam and Christina Georgiadis. Bishop in memory of Kathleen Kefalos. Uh, Joe DeServanak in memory of Pauline Krusuludis. Pamela Bolkovec in memory of Mary Chaparas Bolkovec. Nicole Gross in memory of Anthula Pefanis. Marianne Bonfield in memory of Helen Chappas. Anita Mayer in memory of Catherine Malamis. Marianne Bonfield in memory of Mary Bonfield. Judy Pandelios in memory of Elmi Pandelios and Magdalene Kanya. Marianne Bonfield in memory of Anne Chappas. Georgia Giganis in memory of Maria Demos. John Clayton in memory of Evropi Betty Clayton. And Greg, memory, uh, Greg Morris in memory of Eleni Morris. John Clayton in memory of Michelle Clayton. Eleni Deducis in memory of Francis Deducis. Jeffrey Durasco in memory of Elise Stefanu. Angie Fitzpatrick in memory of Pauline Chrysaludis. And Angie Fitzpatrick in memory of Joan Fitzpatrick. Christina Johnson in memory of Stella Johnson. Karen Joseph in memory of Helen Joseph. Kelly Caravalis in memory of Irene Caravalis, Zelfa Khalil in memory of Agnes Khalil and Hila Alizre, Al Al Jeff Mason in memory of Virginia Demas and Nancy Mason, George Mellis in memory of Anna Mellis, Penny Mercandante in memory of Elaine Christ, Christine Metropolis in memory of Irene Metropolis, Arlene Paris in memory of Maria Paris, Arlene Paris in memory of Rose Russell, Eleni Valiant in memory of Helen Belouris, Helen Valiant, and Maria Elderkin. Delia Vecchi in memory of Dina Vasi Kuhn. Connie Walters in memory of Marianne Bastolis. Connie Walters in memory of Marie Bayetis. Connie Walters in memory of Panayota Bastolis. And Stella Calaris. Connie Walters in memory of Helen Georgiakakis. Stacey Boyatis. Joanne Watson in memory of Catherine Hartig. Joanne Watson in memory of Stella Paterakis. Uh, Rania Ponticos in memory of Marianthi Papuzis. Connie Walters in memory of Christina Bistolis. And myself and Presitera and our family in memory of Theoni Papas of Angelia Tulumas, Frida Paraskevi Boaki, Urania Lolis, and Barbara Kadimas. May all their memories be eternal. Amen. And now for the health, well being, blessing and love of these mothers still in this life and God willing for many years to come. Okay, from Emily Adamchek in honor of Theodora Adamchek. From Maria Constantine for Presbytera Becky, <laughs> Presbytera Vasiliki, 
Yaya Mary, Yaya Georgia, Stavrula, and Vicky. Harry Athanasiu in honor of Joyce Athanasiu. Vaya Koluvos Lubnaka for Vasiliki Kolovos. Joyce Athanasiu in honor of Rebecca Bertos. Dean Jack and Sam Pasadelis in, uh, for <coughs> Anne Pasadelis. Ephthemia Bakras in, in honor of Sophia Buzos. Right. Effie Giannis for Anna Giannis. Uh, Chris Belouris in honor of Presitera Ethel Andrutsopoulos and Kathy Belouris. Stephen, Stefan, Anna, <laughs> and Rebecca Bordeano for Presitera Loredana. Polixeni Belouris for Kay Belouris. Philip Carpenter for Marlene Lawrence, Rachel Carpenter, Sue Ann Carpenter, and Linda Samia. And Polixeni Belouris for Penny Chirpus, Chrisula Belouris, who is Luke's Nuna, uh, Athena Belouris Grover, who is Alex's Nuna. Uh, yes, go ahead. Julia Pahutis for Mary Pahutis. Uh, George Velius for Maria Meeker. Jan Petridis for Alexandra Cameron, Maria Petridis, and Anne McCoot. And George Velius for, uh, in, in honor of Christina Velius. Jan Petridis for Irene Petridis. Barbara Bornius in honor of Calliope, Barbara, Janet, Sophia, Lenny, Christy, Ashley, and Jan. Mark Georgiadis for Karen Georgiadis. Doug Servanak for his wife Jody Servanak. George Tulumis for Anthula, Calliope, Chrisagula, Georgia, Mary, Katerina, Rachel. Uh, Eleni Dedusis for Anna Dedusis. Jody Servanak for Sharon, uh, Laverna, and uh, Judy. George Gages. Uh, Stacey Dickus in honor of Christine Dickus. And uh, Becky Guidas. Alexander Anitakis for Georgia Anitakis and Catherine Anitakis. Uh, Jeffrey Durasco for Mina Durasco. John Clare for Irene Clare. John Fries for his mother Connie Fries. I assume Yanni Giganis yes. for Theann Giganis. Oh, okay, and Theann Giganis for Georgia Tulumis and Mary Giganis. Sherry Clayton for all mothers. Uh, George, George Karpakis for Greta Tramel and for Christine Karpakis Christ and Pat Karpakis. Christina Mackerel for uh, Tatsy McCann and Mary Ann Mackerel. Uh, the Khalil family for Zelfa Khalil. Pamela Bertus for Rebecca Bertus. Uh, Curtis Magnuson for Arlene Lucille Magnuson. Nicole Gross for Ruth Gross and Helen DeMoss. Jeff Mason for his wife, Maria Mason. Jody Servanak for Angie Fitzpatrick and... Um, Mrs. Bogiatis. Mrs. Bogiatis. <laughs> uh, an anonymous donation for Suzanne Perry. Rebecca Peck for Stacy Dickus. George Mellis for his wife, Veronica Mellis. Dan Willow for Jean Torlides. Also another anonymous honor in uh, honor of uh, Catherine Belouris, Kay Belouris. Rebecca Peck for Donna Peck. And for Presbyter Evangelia das Kalekis. Um, others, uh, let's see, okay, I'll just go through the rest here. Uh, Presbyter Eileen Sidor for Joyce Gladys and for uh, Joe Sidor. Uh, George Tulumis for his mother, Presbyter Becky. Apparently, uh, just can't I get enough. Uh, Lenny Valiant for, for Paula Valiant, Maria Pappas, Sandra Valores, Stacey Dickus, Presbytera Becky, Presbytera Lordana, and Presbytera Eileen. Delia Vecchi for Julianne Vecchi. Uh, Constance Walters for Constance Bistolas. Uh, Constance Walters for Mary, Ann, uh, Mary Magdalene Welch. Um, Joanne Watson for her mother, uh, Despina, or Esther Ladekas, and for all the mothers of Holy Trinity. Maria Wilson for Theodora Tsanakakis, uh, Anna Zissis, all the way from down in Texas, I think, to her mother Aspasia, uh, uh, another anonymous for Theanne Giganis, uh, also uh, Rania Ponticos for her beloved mother uh, Polixeni or Pauline Ponticos, Connie Walters for Constance Bayetis Young. Uh, for Maria, Marissa Ochner and for Jamie McLean, um, myself and my family, uh, for uh, Georgia Tulumis, hi mom, uh, Maria, Mary Lolis, hi mom, uh, ma, uh, Marianne, uh, Maria, uh, sorry, <laughs> Marian Rollis, hi Nuna, Presbyter of Angie Orfanakos, Nikki Mason, 
Christine, uh, Christine Pavia, Barbara Harless, Nikki Marie West, and also, and Theandra Gannis, and also, uh, oh, this one got put on the wrong list because this was supposed to be on the memorials list, but from all of our family to uh, Panayota or Thea Pizza Yatris. So thank you very much. What a joy this was. We had no idea what to expect, but obviously your love for your mothers is just uncontainable. What a beautiful thing it is to honor those to, in memory for those who have already gone on to the promise of eternal life, already receiving the rising up of, from, the, from the Lord. Yes? Yes. Okay. And also, your love, as you can see, so the mothers surrounding the mother of us all right here, the Panagia, uh, continuing to honor and thank her for her protection, blessing, and prayers in our life. So whatever your plans may be today, whether you are able to physically join your mother or not, please uh, do whatever celebrations and phone calls and video calls and sharing of love and maybe cards that you sent with the understanding that we all know, and that is, if it wasn't for our current situation, we would certainly be there. We would be doing more than we're doing now, but we will take this for now with the understanding that God will rise us up out of this, as I said. So I really hope and pray that you all have a blessed, healthy Mother's Day. May the mothers that we have honored that are still in this life have many blessed years to come. And Christos Anesti. Alitos Anesti. We are not having our coffee, our virtual coffee hour today so that you can go and you can enjoy the um, time together or in whatever way you may with your mothers. May you have a blessed week. I also ask you to please continue to hope and pray, but I ask especially that you pray for our Archbishop and our Metropolitans. You may have seen on our website or seen on the email that the Synod met on Friday, our Synod in America, and they have now relegated the responsibility of how this will reestablish and reopen to each metropolitan, which is actually where it properly belongs ecclesiastically, based on the regions within their metropolis and their states of, of which they, they have jurisdiction. So this really is a time, and I, and I just ask you to fervently pray uh, for the very difficult decisions that our metropolitans are going to make. As you know, many people have many different ideas about all this, and they are going to attempt to make a decision that is the best for everyone. And so please pray for their divine, and I do mean it, illumination and guidance for the strength of their office for them to fulfill the godly call to shepherd as true shepherds the Church of Christ back to health, back to the fullness of participation, and please watch the website, watch the email. As soon as news is available, we will uh, reach out to you and let you know. I don't know if this is the last Sunday we will be here. I do know that the first Sunday available, we will be able to, we will go back to Holy Trinity Church and we will basically uh, proceed forward in accordance to the instructions that we receive. So thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your love. And again, happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. May the blessing of the Lord be with you all.